welcome Lions fans to Smith Center, Kansas to the 3A Substate Volleyball Tournament where the Lady Lions are getting ready to take on the Beloit Trojans tonight in their first match of this Substate Tournament. So far tonight, uh, Phillipsburg beat out uh, their game. Uh, Marysville beat Riley County two to one. And the Lady Lions are getting ready to take on Beloit, who they beat at home this year earlier by scores of 25-16, 25-11, and the second match 25-16, 25-19. So necessarily, not necessarily won't be a easy match by any shape means or means, but uh, one that should be very winnable for these Lady Lions. Last year, the Trojans beat the Lady Lions in the opening round of Substate out at Hayes TMP. Your Lady Lions are the NCAA champions, of course. <clears throat> and uh, won the Hillsboro tournament here uh, last week, I believe it was, last Saturday or a week and a half ago, I can't remember which, for the first time ever in their history. Coach Julie McCulloch, head coach for the Lions. And we're getting ready to go underway here. It is September 23rd, 2010. Dale Leach here for 910 Eagle Communications. 910 KINA Eagle Communications, excuse me. And Channel 8 on Eagle Communications TV. Tape replay on Channel 13 to be a week from tomorrow, which is Sunday, when this will be replayed. So we start here today to see if somehow the ladies can make it on to state, Class 3A state in Salina. The number one ranked Phillipsburg Panthers are in this tournament as number one seed. The Lady Lions are the number two seed. If we win here, we will play the winner of the uh, Ellsworth versus Smith Center match. Lady Lions will serve. We have Baker, Page, Crossan, Steinbrock, Macy, Frazier. Crossing with the hit. Beloit saves it. Into the net. Um, the Lady Lions go up one to zero. Macy to serve. Nice dig by Macy. Baker, kill into the net. Tipped over by Page on the put back by Beloit. Lead lines up 2-0. Macy with the serve. Lands in the corner for the Trojans. Side out to Beloit. It'll be one serving two here. Brown serves for Beloit. Oh, set wasn't quite there from Page to Crossan. Crossan couldn't quite get to it. It's two all. Brown for Beloit serving. Beloit sets up Crossan. She pounds it in. Uh, I don't think they're going to get it over. They do, though. Page sets up Baker. Her kill goes into the net. Beloit goes up three to two. Brown for Beloit to serve. Steinbrock. Cross and sets up Baker. Beloit puts it back. It's out. It's tied at three with Riley Baker to serve for the Lady Lions.
Nice save by uh, Macy there. He was off the back line. And a block by Crossan and Page. Puts the lines up four to three. Baker to serve again. Oh, a wonderful kill by Crossan. Stuff, I should say, not a kill. She blocked that ball coming over from Beloit back into the craw. Baker serves it again. It's 5-3 Lady Lions. They bat, get it out of bounds. They save it. And Crossan blocks another attempt over the net. Beloit takes the timeout, trailing 6-3. We'll be back in a second after this word from our sponsors. of Lion Sports Coverage. Listen to the live broadcast on 910kina.com or on your local Eagle Cable Channel 8. The lady lines up 6-3 here. Baker to continue serving. And it just lands out of bounds. Point to the Trojans. Now four serving six. For Beloit. So the Beloit coach called a timeout at the op opportune time to try to ice Baker there serving. Macy with the big page sets up Frazier. Her hit attempt is blocked. Page dumps it over and crossing with a nice dump down over the net. 7-4, Minneapolis. Kelsey Page to serve for the Lady Lions. Up into the rafters. They get it over. Macy with the dig. Page sets up Steinbrock. It's nailed to the inside. 8-4, Lady Lions. It's over, and it lands just in the corner. So five to serve eight. Steinbrock to Macy, and Baker gets it over. Kill blocked by Crossan. Frazier, back to Frazier. Beloit keeps it in play. And they knock it into the corner again. To draw the score, eight to six. Six serving eight here. Oh, nice save by Page. Uh, Macy couldn't quite get it over the net. So seven serving eight here. This is Dig Page. Sets up crossing from behind. Lloyd stops it. They put on a kill. Baker digs it. Page sets up Frazier. And she can't get it over the net. Ties the score at eight. The serve for Riley for Beloit goes over the end line. Out of bounds. The Lady Lions take a 9 8 lead again. Gets across on the serve for the Lady Lions. There, Navarro digs it. Oop. And they get it over between Steinbrock and Mortimer. Couldn't get the block set. It's tied at nine. Trojans to serve. Page. Steinbrock sets up Page. She bumps it over. Page, rescue, stole Page, excuse me, Baker 
set up Page. Page gets it over the net, but it goes out of bounds. 10 to nine, first lead, I believe, for the Trojans. That might be their second lead. Fraser gets it over. Page. Steinbrock sets up Mortimer. The Beloit saves it, rallies it back. Killed, dug by Macy. Page gets it over. Macy saves it. Page sets up Frazier. And her shot goes over the net and out of bounds. 11-9. Beloit over Minneapolis here. And the Lady Lions take a timeout to talk about it. Get settled down. We'll be back. Tonight's game coverage is brought to you by Santa Fe Carpet, where a new carpet starts at a buck fifty per square foot. Santa Fe Carpet now has Soft Sense by Bliss, the softest, smartest carpet ever in 48 colors. Salina's bottom line carpet price, Santa Fe Carpet, four blocks south of St. John's Military School. The State Bank of Delphus in Glasgow and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back to Smith Center, Kansas. Lloyd serving, leading 11 to 9. Page to Steinbrock, she pops it over. Lloyd knocks it out of bounds. Over the end line. Lady Lions trailing 10 to 11 with the serve. Frazier gets it over. Lloyd knocks it backwards. Out of bounds, they get it over the net. Steinbrock puts it over the end line with the kill attempt. The Trojans go up 12 to 10 with the serve here. With the side out. Brown to serve for the Trojans. Macy with the dig, Steinbrock sets up Mortimer. Oh, and she can't get it over. Lady Lions are a little discombobulated here. Trailing now 13 to 10. Brown bumps it over, nice dig by Frazier. Steinbrock sets up Baker, she kills it. Out of bounds after the Trojans try to block. 10 to serve 13 here, Steinbrock. Over the net. They pop it. Macy digs. Page gets it over, almost falls down, and they bump it out of bounds. So, excuse me, it was 11 to 13, not 10 to 13. It's now the Lady Lions trading by a point with the serve, 12 to 13. Steinbrock serves. The Trojans set it up, and Baker could not get there for the block. The Trojans go up 14 to 12 with the serve. There's the serve, and Frazier digs. Baker back to Macy. She bops it over the end line, or the, excuse me, over the net. And uh, Brown from Belleville can't handle it. Sends it over the back line. Lady Lions trailing 13-14. Macy with the serve. She gets it over. Kill attempt by Beloit. It's tipped before it goes out of bounds. Point to Beloit, leading 15-13. Brown with the serve for Beloit. Macy digs Page, sets up Baker. She pounds it in. No, was that Baker or Crossing? Baker will now serve the Lady Lions trailing 14-15. Cody set up, get it over the net. Macy digs. Page sets up Crossing and her kill attempt goes into the net. Point to the Trojans, they lead now 16-14. 
Lady Lions need to they somehow get it together here. Here's Gannett, Macy with the dig, and uh, nobody there to receive it. Kind of a flat ball. 17-14, Beloit with the serve. Macy with the dig, Page sets up Frazier. She pops it over, out of bounds. Trojans with a four point lead now, leading 18 to 14. Macy digs, Frazier sets up Page. She pops it in, it's off of Boyd Girl's face, out of bounds. 15-18, Lady Lions trailing. Chelsea Page with the serve. Lloyd pops it, they can't get it over the net. Brings the Lions within two, 16 to 18. Katie Page with the serve. Brown sets up the hitter and it sails over the inline. Lions draw within one, 17 to 18. Kelsey Page continues the serve. She gets it over and nice dig. They, Frazier to Mort Macy sets up Baker. She gets it over. Brown sets up their hitter. Page digs it over the net. They try to set it up and Crossan blocks it to Page. Back to Crossan. Her kill attempt goes into the net. Beloit takes a 19 to 17 lead. Time brought. Frazier. They dig it. Set up their kill attempt. It's tipped. Side out, Beloit. They lead 20 to 17 here. Macy digs, sets up to Page, sets up crossing. Beloit digs it, they set up their hitter. Page, they call Minneapolis in the net. And we take a timeout, trailing by four. The Trojans with the lead, 21 to 17. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis Sports and hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex Salina, you'll find a small town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars, new GMC trucks, and SUVs. Serving their customers since 1957, Bennett Autoplex Salina. Welcome back to Smith Center, Kansas. And the Lady Lions desperately trying to get something going here in this first game of the match. Trailing the Trojans 17 to 21. Who have the serve right now? Serve to Macy Digsitz to Page, sets up Steinbrock, and Beloit is in the net. So, Lady Lions trailing 18 to 21. It's a serve. Macy Crossan gets it over the net. Beloit handles it, sets up their killer, and through Frazier's hands, out of bounds. 22 to 18 in favor of the Trojans. Page with the dig. Steinbrock sets up Mortimer. And her kill attempt goes into the net. 23 to 18 in favor of the Lady Trojans. Page to Steinbrock, she pops it over, it finds a hole, but they dig it. Mortimer blocks the kill. Page sets up Steinbrock, it falls. Point Lady Lions. 
19 to serve 23 here. Frazier. Look, sets it up, they bop it over. Macy with the dig. Page sets up Steinbrock. And it's knocked out of bounds by the Trojans. The Lions on the rally. Trailing 20-23, the Trojans call timeout. We talk it over and the coach wants to complain to the referee. We'll be back. A car accident? High winds damaged your property? To protect you, the Scott Osherman Agency is the place to go. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for over 80 years. Call the Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. The Lady Lions have not tasted defeat in a match since back at the Concordia Tournament. It's been a while since they've lost a game. We're on the rally now, 20 to 23. Frazier serves. Well, Navarro dumps it, sets it to Brown. They get it over, and it's out of bounds. 21-23. Frazier gets it over again. Tipped by Mortimer. Page sets up Baker. Off the Trojans, out of bounds. Side out Minneapolis trailing 22-23. I take that back, the Lady Lions just lost the game last week, but they didn't lose the match. Frazier bumps it over. Serves it over, I should say. Lloyd bumps it over. Page sets up Steinbrock. She finds a hole, but they dig it out. Set up the kill attempt, and it falls in. Lloyd with the side out, leading 24-22, game point for the Lady Trojans. A couple subs come in for, three subs come in from Lloyd. 24, serving 22. Brown to serve for the Trojans. Frazier digs, Steinbrock sets up Baker, comes in, they find the holds dug. Blocked by Mortimer, set up another kill. And it's Minneapolis called in the net. So Beloit wins the first game of the match, 25-22. We'll be back after the word from our sponsors for game two. At Lambert Insurance, Sue Clinton can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wool will help you with your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy in downtown Minneapolis. Salina Spring and Axle, specializing in all your suspension, alignment, and brake needs for over 50 years. Located at 672 South Broadway, just north of Crawford Street in Salina. This internet broadcast is made possible by Don Allison at Santa Fe Carpet in Salina. New carpet prices start at $1.50 per square foot. All colors in plain or plush styles, including popular 94-ounce carpet. Financing is available at Santa Fe Carpet, four blocks south of St. John's Military School. At Robertson Monument, they believe that supporting community activities is very important. That's why they're sponsors of Lion Sports. Minneapolis is a great town to live in, and Robertson Monument hopes you make it to as many games as possible. R&J Tax Services, the most dependable tax service in Salina, is open every Monday through Friday, 52 weeks out of the year. Have tax questions? Call R&J Tax Services in Salina. 
The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School linebackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of the Lions games. Join them as they support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Todd and Shelly Wilson with Wilson Shields Funeral Home offer affordability and dignity. They know that the Minneapolis Lions will have a great season and want to wish them the best. Wilson Shields Funeral Home, our family serving your family. Welcome back to Smith Center, Kansas. September 23rd, we're here for game two of this match in the Class 3A substate. Lady Lions versus the Beloit Trojans. Or Trojans take the first game of the match, 25-22. The Lady Lions did not have together. You have to give Beloit kudos for playing a good game, but we did not play well. A lot of errors to see if they can rally together. Get it going. Beloit to serve. Brown. The Trojans. Steinbrock. Page sets up Baker. Blocked. Macy. To Frazier. She bumps it over. Beloit sets up the kill. Page. Steinbrock sets up Baker and she gets it over. Crossing. Page. Sets up Baker again. This time it's in Point Minneapolis. Riley Baker to serve. If the serve is good, dug by the Navarro. They set up the kill from the outside. Blocked by Crossan. Falls on the Trojan side of the net. 2-0. Baker with the serve. Serve is over and good. They set up the kill. Break blocked by Crossan. Off Beloit. Side out, Lady Lions leading 3 0. Baker gets it to serve over. Brown sets up the killer from the outside, blocked by Frazier and Crossing. They dig it. Pops it over the net. Macy Page, she sets up Crossing. Boom, it's in, falls in the corner. 4 0, Lady Lions. Beloit takes the timeout. Talk it over. This is where they took control of the match last game. They called a timeout, iced the server. Work from our sponsors. It's fast, it's furious, and it's fun. It's Minneapolis Raceway. Minneapolis Raceway has brought you exciting races to Central Kansas and will continue the tradition. Minneapolis Raceway will give you and your family some of the most exciting races ever seen. Go Lions! Santa Fe Carpet is a proud supporter of the Minneapolis Lions. In conjunction with new carpet prices starting at a buck fifty, Santa Fe Carpet also carries quick step wood laminates, vinyl flooring, tile even home decor. Salina's bottom line carpet price is at Santa Fe Carpet, four blocks south of St. John's Military School. Okay, uh, we'll join the match back in progress. Uh, our serve went over good, but we couldn't handle the putback by Beloit. They get their first, first point, one serving four here. Beloit with the serve. Macy with the dig. Page sets up Carrasen. She pounds it in. Five to one, Lady Lions. Page with the serve. Let's boy the dig. Brown sets up the outside hitter. Blocked by Carrasen. And uh, lift is called on Beloit. 6-1, Lady Lions, Page continues serving. They set up, they couldn't, the set up was not quite to the hitter. Falls under the net, 7-1, Lady Lions. Page with the serve here. She gets it over, Palmer I believe. 
Sets up the outside hitter. Uh, Page rescues it. Sets across and she pops it over. Brown to Baker. Crossing pops it over. Dug out. Brown sets up the outside hitter. Baker across him. Excuse me. Crossing over. Beloit rescues it. Macy with the dig. Page sets up Steinbrock. She almost finds the hole. They can't get it over. Four hits. Eight to serve. One here, Lady Lions. Page continues serving. Macy, Page sets up Steinbrock. She kicks it over. Beloit sets up the killer. She pops it high over the net. Steinbrock, Page sets up Frazier. I call Beloit in the net. Nine to one, Lady Lions. Beloit substitutes. Page continues to serve. Beloit sits, tries to set her up. Brown for Beloit, and it gets off her fingers, goes behind her head. Ten to one, Lady Lions. Kelsey Page with the serve. Dig it off the back line. Brown sets up the middle. They couldn't quite uh, get it over the net there. 11 to 1, Lady Lions. Kelsey Page continues serving. Palmer. Brown tips it over. Frazier couldn't handle it. Two to serve 11 here. The Trojans with the serve. Out of bounds, it goes. Makes the score Lady Lions 12, Beloit 2. J.C. Crossan now with the serve. And it's a tape shot into the net. Three to serve 12 now, Lady Trojans. Page digs it to Steinbrock. She sets up Mortimer. And the Trojans can't handle it. That's two hits, it goes backwards. Over the end line. 13 to serve three now, Lady Lions. Frazier with the serve. Palmer to Brown, sets up their outside hitter. She pops it over. Page, or Baker to Page. Set up Steinbrock, and she finds the sweet spot. Lady Lions take a 14 to three lead, and the Trojans of Beloit take another timeout. We'll be back. CNR Plating and Kevin's crew would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. CNR Plating, a Lions sports backer, wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. CNR Plating, a Lions sports backer. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high speed internet, 910 KINA News Talk, and 99 KG Country, proud sponsors of Lions Sports Coverage. Listen to the live broadcast on 910KINA.com or on your local Eagle Cable Channel 8. Kara Frazier with the serve. 14 3, Lady Lions. She bots it over Palmer. The Brown sets up the outside hitter. She hits it. Frazier. Sets up um, Steinbrock. Either the Lady Lions are in the net or we had a lift, I'm not sure which. Point goes to the Trojans. Four serving 14. Porter to serve for the Trojans. Macy digs to Steinbrock, she pops it over. Brown sets up the hitter. Blocked by Mortimer. Brown sets up the hitter. Blocked by Steinbrock. They call Steinbrock in the net. Oh, the ball hit the, the ball hit the uh, antenna over there. Out of bounds. So five serving 14. 
Brown serves. Macy, Steinbrock sets up Baker. Her kill is handled. Brown sets up the hitter. It's in on the back line. Six to serve 14 now for the Trojans. Brown, no, it's Porter serving, excuse me. Macy digs it to Steinbrock, sets up Mortimer. She pops it over. There, Lavaro gets it. Brown sets up the hitter. And they find the spot in the back. Most Macy couldn't get to it. They've half the score now. It's seven serving 14. Porter continues to serve. Macy. Steinbrock sets up Baker. It's boom. They hit it, and it's going to go over. They cannot get it in three. Have to dig it off the end line. Lady lines 15 to 7. It's going to be Steinbrock with the serve. The serve is good, and the Lavaro digs it to Brown, sets up the outside hitter, and this time it's out of bounds. 16 7, Lady Lions, side out. Steinbrock with the serve. Lavaro digs it. Baker puts it back, call for a lift. Eight to serve 16 here, Trojans. Get a substitution in, put another tall player on the front line. The serve is in. Frazier, Page sets up Baker, and her hit is going to go out of bounds. Nine to serve 16, Lady Trojans. Frazier to Steinbrook. Macy gets it over. Brown sets up the hitter. She bumps it. Mortimer. Page sets up Baker. It barely goes over. Bloyd rescues it. They pop it over. Macy. Page. Baker with the kill. Off the Trojan's hands. Falls harmless over to the floor. The Lady Vines took a 17 to 9 lead. Macy now with the serve. She pops it over. And it falls to the floor. Give her an ace. Falls right between two Trojans. Couldn't decide which one was going to take it. Lady Lions lead 18 to 9. Macy with the serve. Back line gets it. Sets up the outside hitter. And uh, it's off of the Lady Lion. Falls in front of Frazier. She couldn't quite get to it. So it's going to be 10 serving 18 here. Trojans with the serve. Brown will serve for the Trojans. Alice uh, Steinbrock to Page. Crossing hammers it down. 19 10, favor of the Lions. Baker with the serve. Gets it over. Brown digs. Excuse me, Brown sets. The hit from the outside hits the antenna. It's out of bounds. 20 to 10 in favor of the Lions. Page serves. And Brown pops it. They get away over. Goes into the rafters and back at them. 21-10, Lady Lions. Baker continues to serve. There's the serve. She gets it over. It's dug out. Brown sets up the outside hitter. Blocked by Crossan. She pops it back. Page gets it over. Brown rallies. It gets it over. Crossan to Page. She sets up Frazier. And they call with a lift on the block. Put back attempt after the block. 22 serving 10, Lady Lions Page continues to serve. Snux Page, Baker, excuse me. She gets it over, the Lavaro sets it to Brown, kill attempt, it's blocked by Crossan. Brown pops it over. 
Page to Crossan. Down it goes in. Oh! Called out. So 11 will serve 22 here for the Lady Trojans. They send in Palmer and another player. Steinbrock. Page sets a crosser from the outside. It's out of bounds. Oh, and they call it in. <laughs> Makeup call, I guess. Goodness gracious, that was out. 23, and the boy coach is upset. Don't blame her. As we make some substitutions. 23 to 17, Kelsey Page with the serve. Her serve is good. Lavaro sets to Brown, sets up the outside hitter. And uh, Frazier's one hands it, it goes back over the inline. 12 to serve, 23 here. Beloit with the serve. Steinbrock, Page, sets across and behind her. And she knocks it in. It deflects off one Beloit player and finds the empty spot. Game point here, 24 to 12. JC Crossan with the serve. Brown, that's up the hitter behind her. Crossan digs. Page sets up Steinbrock. She gets it over. It's the dig by Beloit. Brown sets up the outside hitter. Steinbrock. Page pops it over. They knock it back. Brown to Page, or excuse me. Page sets up Steinbrock. They rally it. Palmer gets it over. Crossing to Page. Sets up Mortimer behind her, Steinbrock behind her. Blocked. Deflected. 25 to 12 is the final score in this game for the Lady Lions. Game three of this match coming up. Lady Lions take the second one, 25-12. Back after a word from our sponsors.
Okay, welcome back to Smith Center, Kansas for game three of this first match. Lady, Lady Trojans took the first one 25-22. The Lady Lions roared back in the second game to take a 25-12 advantage. Now the rubber match comes up to determine the winner. Rubber game of the match comes up to determine the winner of the match. Macy to serve. Their first serve goes into the net. Trojans take a 1-0 lead. Bloit serve. Alice Steinbrock. Page sets up crosses from the outside. She hammers it over, deflected into an empty spot by the Trojans. One to one. Bradley Baker with a serve for the Lady Lions. Baker gets it over. Palmer. Brown sets up the outside hitter, and if she couldn't get to it, crossing. Blocks it down. Two to one. Lady Lions. Riley Baker with the serve. The serve is good. Navarro bumps it. Brown. Navarro sets it from the back line. Macy. Tage sets up crossing. She hammers it. They bump, they bump it. Brown sets up the hitter. Macy with the dig. Page sets up Frazier. They come back. Frazier to Page. Sets up crossing. The hit is dug out by Beloit. Brown pops it over. Page, excuse me, Baker to Page. Sets up Frazier. She clobbers it over and blocked out of bounds by the Trojans. Lions take a three to one lead. Riley Baker continues with the serve. Baker gets it over. Brown sets up the outside hitter. Baker sets up Steinbrock. She gets it over. Brown sets up the hitter. Blocked out of bounds by crossing. Two to serve three. Beloit with the serve. Brown to serve for Beloit. Uh, over the inline, out of bounds. And that was Porter with the serve, excuse me. Page with the serve. She gets it over. Dig. Brown sets up the hitter. Blocked by Crossan. Cross falls back to the Lions. Page sets up Baker. She gets it over. Brown sets up the hitter. And it falls. In between Baker and Macy. Three to serve four here for the Lady Trojans. Steinbrock digs. Page sets up Crosser from the outside. Brown pops it back. Macy to Page to Crossan. Trojans can't handle it. Five to three, Lady Lions. J.C. Crossan with the serve. She pops it over. Page with the dig that gets over the net. Brown sets up the hitter. Blocked by Mortimer and Steinbrock. Oh! Riley Baker had to slide under the net after attempting to save that ball. And that definitely was an under the net call. Four to serve five, Beloit. Brown serving for the Trojans. Page, it's a, Steinbrock sets up Mortimer. Her kill is blocked. Five all now, Beloit with the serve. Brown serving for the Trojans. They bump it over, Page, Steinbrock. They pop it back over, Baker. Sets it to Paige. Paige looked like she was going to set it to somebody else, and then all of a sudden just tips it over. Caught the Trojans by surprise. Six to serve, five now. Yeah. 
Frazier with the serve. She gets it over. Brown sets the hitter. Blocked by Baker and Mortimer. Seven, serving five, Minneapolis Frazier serving. Brown sets up the hitter. She gets it over Frazier. Page sets up Baker. It's in, just in the in, inside the inline. Eight to serve five, Lady Lions. Frazier continues to serve. Navarro to Page, the Brown. They set up the hitter. Page digs it over the net. Brown sets up the hitter. It's over and it lands between Macy and Page. Six to serve eight here. Lady Trojans with the serve. Palmer with the serve for the Trojans. Tape shot. Nine to six, Lady Lions. Steinbrock with the serve. She gets it over, or they dig it. Brown sets up the hitter behind. And they find the sweet spot. Side out to the Trojans. Trailing Lions 7-9. They pop it over. Macy with the dig. Page sets up Baker. Kaboom! They hit it. Steinbrock, Page, Baker. Nice athletic move, pops it over. She did land underneath the net, no call. 10 to seven, Lady Lions. Macy with the serve. Another Navarro to Brown, sets up the hitter. Blocked across him, Page gets it over. Brown sets up the hitter again. Blocked by Page. Brown sets up the other side. They get it over, Macy. Page sets up, cross him, and lands in. 11 to serve, seven. Lady Lions. Macy with the serve. We'll be back in a minute. Tonight's game coverage is brought to you by Santa Fe Carpet. Where a new carpet starts at a buck fifty per square foot. Santa Fe Carpet now has soft sense by Bliss. The softest, smartest carpet ever in 48 colors. Salina's bottom line carpet price Santa Fe Carpet, four blocks south of St. John's Military School. The State Bank of Delphus in Glasgow and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans IG, of course. Jeans is proudly a sponsor of Minneapolis Sports and hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Okay, Macy digs to Page, sets up Baker from the outside. Bullet with the dig. Cross, blocked by Crossan. Lady Lions, 12-7. Macy with the serve. Gets it to the Lavaro. Brown sets up the hitter from behind and uh, couldn't get to the hitter. Started to fall over the net. Cross and knocks it back in for the point. Macy with the serve. Lavaro to Brown. Sets up the outside hitter. Blocked by Crossan. It's going to make a 14 to 7. Lady Lions doubled the score here. Macy continues to serve. Macy gets it over and they couldn't handle it. Give her an ace. 15 to seven, Lady Lions. Macy continues to serve. She gets it in, they dig it. Gets it over, cross into Page, sets up Baker, boom! 16-7, Beloit takes a timeout. We'll be back with the Lady Lions 
serving, leading by 16 to 7. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions at Bennett Autoplex Salon, and you'll find a small town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars, and GMC yeah. trucks and SUVs. Serving their customers since 1957, Bennett Autoplex Salon. A car accident? High winds damaged your property? To protect you, the Scott Osherman Agency is the place to go. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for over 80 years. Call the Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. Macy with the serve here. She gets it over. They pop it over at three. Crossin, Page sets up Steinbrock from behind. They block it. Steinbrock saves it, gets it to Page. She pops it over, and they can't control it. Palmer almost had it. Knocks it out of bounds. The Lady Lions leading 17 to seven here in this third game of the match. Macy continues to serve. She pops it in to the net. Is the Trojans eight points. Score, Trojans will uh, serve eight to 17. Frazier digs, Page, that's up Baker or Crossan. And uh, he got over the net before she could hit it. She landed underneath the net, but no call. 18 to serve eight. Baker with the serve. Here comes the serve. They dig it, sets Brown, sets up the outside hitter. Baker digs. Steinbrock is crossing. She pops it over. Here Lavaro digs, sets up the Brown. She sets up the hitter from the middle. And it's going out of bounds. Uh, the referee is looking to see if we tipped it. He looked to the inline player ref who uh, didn't see anything either. So it's 19 8, Lady Lions. I didn't think it was deflected. Baker into the net. Nine to serve 19 now for the Trojans. Two subs come in Porter and Palmer, and another player. Number four on head. Porter serves. She bumps it. Macy dug it. Page went under the net after she tried to set up the kill attempt. So point to the Trojans. Ten serving 19. Macy. Page sets up crossing. And they can't handle it. Makes it 20 to 10 in favor of the Lady Lions here. Kelsey Page back to serve. There's the serve. Brown sets up the killer, and it falls in front of Macy and Page. Couldn't quite get to it. 11 to serve 20 here for the Trojans. Here's the serve. Macy, Page sets up cross from the outside. They dig it, and if they can't get it set up, so it goes 21 to 11. Macy comes out. Mortimer comes in, cross and serves. She gets it over and they hit it. Porter sets it up for the kill attempt. He gets over. Baker to Page sets up for uh, Steinbrock. He set up the kill, blocked by Mortimer. Steinbrock, or to Page, and Frazier's kill attempt goes into the net. Macy comes in for crossing. 12 to serve 21. Brown with the serve, and it's over the end line. 22 to serve 12 here. Frazier to serve for the Lions. She gets it over. Brown sets up the outside hitter, blocked by Baker. They rally. Brown pops it over, and it lands over the end line. Excuse me, that's Porter. 23 to serve 12, Frazier. They get it over. Brown sets up the hitter in the middle, blocked by Mortimer. Baker. 
Steinbrock gets it over. Page sets up Steinbrock. Baker puts it down. Brown sets up the hitter for Beloit. Macy with the dig. Page sets up Baker. Kaboom. They save it. Brown sets up the hitter. They pop it over. Macy with a nice dig. Page finds a nice spot. Brown pops it over. Macy sets up Steinbrock. Lloyd rallying here. They get it over and they go out of bounds. On the save attempt there. Match point, 24 to 12. Frazier with the serve. Porter to Brown sets up the hitter. They pop it over. Mortimer, or Macy, Page sets up Steinbrock on the outside. And that wins it for the Lady Lions. The Lady Lions win the match to move on to the semifinals of the up, winner of the upcoming game against Smith Center versus Ellsworth, I believe. 25 to 12 is the score in this last game of the match. The Trojans knocked us out of Substate last year. We returned the favor this year. The scores in this match again were 25-22 Beloit. And Minneapolis takes two successive games, 25-12, 25-12. We'll be back. Around, uh, let's see, it's about quarter of five now. Uh, I bet it's going to be at least 6.30. Depends on how this next game goes. Might be listening if you're on 910kina.com or Eagle Cable Channel 8. Uh, you might want to check in around 6.15, 6.30 if you hear some music or the game. If you hear music, we won't be far off. But... Uh, It'll just be depend on how many games this next one goes. And uh, it'll be 5.05 or 5.10 before it starts. So it'll easily be 6.15 or 6.30 before we get going with the second match. So Dale Leach going to sign off here. We'll be back with match number two against the winner of the upcoming game of Smith Center versus Ellsworth. <laughs>